Anti-government fighters in southern Sudan have claimed control over a key town of Bo in the Jonglai state as the clashes in the youngest nation enters day four. The fall of Bo followed heavy gun fires last night between the renegade soldiers and those loyal to President Salva Kiir that has left one of the state's major barracks captured. Army spokesperson Colonel Philip Angul confirmed the development in the Jonglai state. The AFP quotes Colonel Angul as saying, Our soldiers have lost control of Bo to the forces of Rek Mashar late on Wednesday. The army also associates the fall of Bo to General Peter Gadiek Yak, the commander of Division 8, who had rebelled and taken with him unknown number of soldiers. NTV spoke to some Ugandans in the town of Bo who described the situation as tense. Even right now, even right now in Bo town, they are gunships now. They are shooting. They are shooting, but they are killing the rival Dinkas. If they find the foreigner, they just tell you, go to enemies. Don't shoot you if you're a foreigner. Just look for the Dinkas. The unrest has left thousands fleeing to the United Nations mission camp. It is estimated that about 1,600 Ugandans have sought refuge at the UN camp. What is happening is that more are still coming in, but uh, there is no good hygiene, the latrines, they are small, but they are already a problem. Defecation is coming up. Oh, I mean open defecation, water sources is very poor, supplies. Now, looting has been there. They are putting some juices and all this, those who have looted the shops. But we are not sure whether tomorrow there will be any more supplies. As the situation in southern Sudan latches from one crisis to another, the UN has called for Uganda to intervene in the deteriorating situation. The head of public diplomacy and spokesperson for the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Fred Opolot, confirmed to NTV that the president has been consulted. The, the UN Secretary General, uh, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, uh, had a telephone conversation with President Museveni uh, to uh, see ways on how he can intervene. Uh, on the current situation in southern Sudan. So that is true. There has been a dialogue uh, between the UN and Uganda. A delegation of East African Foreign Affairs Ministers is currently holding talks in Ethiopia's capital Addis Ababa as the African Union moves over a peaceful solution to the conflict. An AU ministerial team has also headed to Juba to engage the South Sudan authorities in finding a, po a political solution uh, to the problem. Uganda is being represented on the team by Honorable Okelo Oriem. Meanwhile, the first buses carrying about 1,000 Ugandans escaping the fight arrived safely last night. Many of them share tales of how they eluded death. <laughs> This after government reached an agreement with Southern Sudan to ensure that Ugandans return home safely. Because for those vehicles that are coming in, that, that, that are bringing Ugandans, uh, they, they are being escorted to ensure that our people arrive safely. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.